Stan's Return is the 11th episode of the first season of The Golden Girls and given that Dorothy is my favourite character, I had a feeling I'd enjoy an episode that focuses on her. As always, there will be spoilers as I discuss various aspects of the episode and it starts off with Dorothy, Blanche and Rose planning a vacation. Sophia isn't going with them because they want her to house sit, which seems a little bit mean. But at the same time, how many people want to vacation with their mother? So I understand it. And then we learn that Dorothy's ex, Stan, has come over to visit because he wants Dorothy to sign some paperwork so they can sell the property that they bought together when they were married. And when Stan leaves, we have this great conversation between Dorothy and Sophia and just everything that Sophia said was fantastic. It was funny. It was entertaining. The delivery of the lines, just absolute perfection. And then we have the meeting between Stan and Dorothy where they go to sign this paperwork to sell the property and they have lunch together and Stan reveals that Chrissy has left him. And Dorothy agrees to go and visit the property for one last hurrah to see it together and that's that. We think that's how that's going to end. The next morning, Rose and Blanche have decided to go to Hollywood for their vacation and just as they're talking about going to tell Dorothy, in walks Stan in what we can assume is Dorothy's robe and I don't think that was expected at all. And... Dorothy obviously wants Stan is, is out of the room. Dorothy is in the kitchen and explains what happens. And what I really like about this is that they don't make a big deal about the fact that Dorothy slept with somebody randomly. They do because it's Stan and it's her ex. But other than that, they don't really say, oh, but you're older, you shouldn't be doing this at your age. They never, ever indicate that at all. And that's what I love about the Golden Girls. They normalize things that most other shows would show with a younger cast. Most other shows would never show that kind of behavior with an older cast. And I absolutely love that. But they do, of course, make a big deal out of the fact that it's her ex. And Dorothy is going to tell Stan that this isn't anything, it doesn't mean anything. And she overhears Stan on the phone ordering flowers for her. And it's at that point that I realized I don't know how I feel about Stan. Because I think we're conditioned to dislike him because of how he treated Dorothy. But at the same time, here is this man who is very vulnerable. His current wife has left him. And he's also trying to do everything to make Dorothy happy. And that's that's, that's a positive thing. He's displaying this positive behaviour. So I genuinely, even by the end of the episode, I genuinely hadn't made my mind up with how I feel about him. But I think I will say that I don't dislike him. But I don't know if he's a very likable person either. I'm still very much on the fence. Dorothy is struggling to tell him the truth. And even when Sophia brings over all of her friends to, to stare at this strange situation of a, a woman sleeping with her ex, um, she still doesn't know exactly what to do. And finally, she decides she goes to his hotel room. And this is completely random, but I love the colour she's wearing. The colour in that scene is beautiful. It complements her so well. It's not important to the narrative, but it's just something that I observed. And Chrissy turns up and she wants Stan back. And perhaps surprisingly, at least surprisingly to me, Stan tells Chrissy, no, you left me. I'm starting to make things right with Dorothy. We're not getting back together. And I hadn't expected that. I'd expected him to kind of instantly leap into Chrissy's arms, if you like, and that's not what he did, and it was very it was very moving, I think. But then of course Dorothy tells him what you just said is irrelevant to what I'm going to say here. We are not getting back together. And then Stan runs after Chrissy, which is fair enough because he doesn't want to be alone. It's not that he was waiting for permission to do it, at least in my opinion, I feel like he just didn't want to be on his own, which is perfectly reasonable. And then we have a great closing remark from Dorothy and I thought it was a, a brilliant episode and definitely um, highlighted a lot of great things. I feel like a woman sleeping with her ex nowadays wouldn't be quite as shocking 
But maybe at the time it was, and certainly for Sophia it was very shocking and she didn't expect it of Dorothy, which is why she paraded over <laughs> all of her friends, I think just like six or eight other women to come and stare at Dorothy, which I thought was uh, rather entertaining. It's a good episode. I still don't know how I feel about Stan, but as far as the episode goes, Stan's return was really enjoyable. <laughs>